Hello, Hello there. there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. And we're late to the party and California is bankrupt. And California, California. So we are getting another Terminator movie, and this one, like some of the ones that have been released in the past, is going to be the definitive answer, or at least continuation of the story, of Terminator 1 and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Yes, yeah, so we've got Linda, Linda Hamilton coming back as Sarah Connor, and then of course you have the almighty Arnold Schwarzenegger. The governator. Just recently out of some drama getting drop kicked in the back. Uh, but yeah, it's the Terminator, man. You can't hurt him. Right. Now, I'm hesitant only because of the trailers. That's one thing that Paramount has kind of messed up on in the past is showing us everything in the trailers, or at least when it comes to the plot twist. Yeah, they completely kind of told us everything from the last movie, Terminator Genesis. And they also ruined Salvation, because we did not know that Sam Worthington was a Terminator. So they definitely kind of got to get their secret game together to keep it fresh for all of us going into the movies. Right. Because, honestly, that's what just kind of ruined the last ones for us. We just want a little bit of the trailer just to kind of get us pumped, but we don't want the whole story. Yeah, so let's take a look at the teaser trailer for Terminator Dark Fate now. Two days ago, I had this nice, simple life. I love the and highway. It's a nightmare. John Cusack? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Bring in the big guns. Yeah, you don't mess with Sarah Connor. Who are you? My name is Sarah Connor. I've never seen one like you before. Almost human. Human. Casey forgot. Why do you care what happens to her? Because I was her. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yes. It's very T2. And I do like how they were fighting uh, fighting on an assembly line once again. That's uh, throwing it back to Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. So, allegedly, this is going to be the definitive chapter following Terminator 2. They are going to wipe away everything post-Terminator 2. No Terminator 3, no Salvation, no Jenny Smith. Uh, they've completely wiped it away, much like what they did with Halloween, where they're just kind of picking up where they left off after the first movie. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting some of those Laurie Strode type, you know, I'm waiting for you, come back, I'll take you all on. But I'm just curious how the movie's going to play out in terms of why is Arnold there, if we're doing that, continuing from T2, and why is there no John Connor? Where's John? What happened? Like, post-Terminator 2. He went off to do his own thing. Maybe. It's possible. <laughs> He's just not there. Yeah, he could just I'm not sure. be there. It's very possible that they are either that or he just wasn't in the trailer, so he's somewhere in the, show, in the movie 
and we'll maybe get to see him a little bit. Right. But from based off of the type of, uh, like, what's happening now, it's like, okay, you have a Terminator there. Where did they? Where did he come from? Right. Why did he come from the future? So does that mean that Skynet does end up kind of d d taking over somehow? Right. Um, and then of course you want to know where that, wh who that girl is. Right. She's also kind of one of them too, but she's more lifelike in that sense of being she's human, but right. she's has body parts that are not quite human right. on her. So it's kind of interesting to see where it takes us and I'm really excited to see what the story is. The story, that's the main thing, is if they get the story right, we're good. We're fine. As long as they get that right. And I know Tim Miller's been plugging away at this movie. I mean, he didn't come back for Deadpool 2 uh, because he was focused on this movie. You got James Cameron again kind of, you know, helping get this movie out. Granted, though, he did put a lot of support behind Terminator Genesis as well. And that one just was lackluster, uh, to say the least. But one thing too is the music. I mean, you've got Brad Fidel's original score for the Terminator 2 series, which was incredible, uh, which really kind of hit its peak there. We never recaptured that in any of the other Terminator movies, and now you've got Junkie XL coming to do the Tom score. Tom Holkenberg. Yeah, Tom Holkenberg. A possible hit when it comes down to you got the music, you got a killer director, you've got Linda Hamilton, and hopefully you got the story. I'm looking forward to seeing what Tom can do with the music of right. Terminator and like putting a twist on it on his own. I mean, right. I really liked what he did with Mad Max. Of I course. mean, he did the music for the Mad Max Fury Road movie, so I I'm kind of interested to see if there's going to be some hits in this one, some little like tidbits too. Yeah. Nod to the hat, like a nod to the hat. hat. Tip of the hat. Tip of the hat. <laughs> Tip of the hat to what came before. And we'll find out though when we do finally see Terminator Dark, Dark Fate. So thank you so much for watching our reaction to the new trailer for Terminator Dark Fate. What did you guys think of it? Let us know down in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kick into the party, fuel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon. Get us where we need to go. Check out our Better Late Than Never series available now. We are going through remakes of 2019. Should have done Terminator, but there's still time in the year because this isn't coming out till the end of the year but check out what we have released so far on better late than never also if you are in the phoenix area we are going to be at phoenix fan fusion this coming weekend be on the lookout for us there but thank you guys so much and as always now it's time to say goodbye this party is over Bye. Bye.